Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on securing Apache Tomcat in the ASF Community Over Code Conference 2023. My name is Dennis Jacob and uh, this is my biography and uh, how you can reach me. Let me quickly move to the agenda of this session. My objective on this session is to take a look at uh, some of the important areas for securing Tomcat in a production or an enterprise level web application setup. I will start with uh, an introduction on what are the key areas to be considered for Tomcat and web application to be secured. Further, I will uh, go through the various areas where we need to pay focus for securing Tomcat, such as securing configurations for Tomcat server, transport layer security, securing access controls, inbound request processing using valves and filters for security, and how to secure session management, etc. I will also touch on the secure logging, vulnerability, and patch management for Tomcat. So why security is important for Tomcat? Tomcat is a critical component in the web application stack. It can be a prime target for malicious actors uh, seeking to exploit vulnerabilities and risking sensitive business data. Securing Tomcat is essential to maintain the integrity and confidentiality of the entire web application ecosystem. Security measures implemented in Tomcat contribute to building trust among users and stakeholders, right? So a secure Tomcat environment established a strong foundation for trusting a trusted application services, fostering long-term relationship with our users and clients. Unsecured Tomcat installations are vulnerable to unauthorized access, putting sensitive data and application functionalities at risk. By implementing robust access control mechanisms and proper user management, we can prevent unauthorized uh, individuals uh, from exploiting vulnerabilities and ensure that only authorized personnel can interact with the application and its data. Tomcat is exposed to various web-based web attacks such as the cross-site scripting or CSRF attacks, etc. A compromised Tomcat instance can lead to uh, data breaches, defacements, or potential legal liabilities. So employing security measures like input validation, secure coding practices, and web application firewalls uh, can effectively mitigate such attacks and safeguard the application from potential threats. Securing Tomcat includes measures to uh, ensure high availability such as load balancing, clustering, and failover configurations. Um, by implementing these measures, web applications hosted on Tomcat can continue to serve users even under heavy traffic or in the event of a partial failure. Many industries have stringent security standards and regulatory uh, requirements that web applications must comply with to protect the user data and privacy. Failure to meet these can result in penalties and legal consequences to the organization. Having a well-defined incident response plan specific to Tomcat is also very crucial. This plan should outline procedures to monitor and detect, contain, eradicate, and recover from security incidents in a prompt manner. By being uh, Prepared to handle such incidents, organizations can mitigate potential damages and reduce recovery time, uh, enhancing the overall security resilience. So what are the essential security considerations for both Tomcat itself and the entire Tomcat-based web application infrastructure? A secure build process is the foundation of a resilient Tomcat deployment. It involves using the latest stable version of Tomcat source code or binaries and ensuring that all necessary components are removed. Default configurations often have security risks as they may have lenient settings that may leave the system vulnerable, right? So Tomcat administrators should 
review and customize the configurations to meet their specific security requirements. This includes setting strong passwords, using encrypted communication, and configuring valid TLS certificate. Coming to application security, uh, beyond securing the Tomcat server, it is vital to address application level security concerns. This involves conducting regular security testing, including vulnerability assessments and penetration testing to identify and remediate application level weaknesses. Secure coding practices, input validation and Output encoding should be implemented to prevent, uh, you know, uh, the common web application vulnerabilities. Robust access controls limit the user permissions based on roles and responsibilities, reducing the risk of unauthorized access to uh, sensitive resources. We must ensure that only authorized users can access the uh, management applications and configuration files. The thumb rule here is that the principle of least privilege should be followed when it comes to access controls. Regular vulnerability scanning of the entire web application infrastructure, including the underlying OS, web server, and database is crucial uh, to identify the potential weakness. If any uh, vulner vulnerabilities are detected, it should be promptly remediated to reduce the attack surface and minimize the risk of exploitation. Now, what about the monitoring and incident response? Continuous monitoring of uh, Tomcat server logs and web application security helps detect uh, unusual behavior and potential security breaches. Implementing an effective incident response plan specific to Tomcat enables uh, uh, rapid identification, containment, and resolution of security incidents. Let's move on to check how we can secure the configurations in the Tomcat. Before starting the Tomcat build or using a downloaded Tomcat binary distribution, release integrity must be checked. Many organizations are ensuring that the source files for build or even the binary files are not even tampered. Tomcat source code distribution and the binary package distribution are also provided with SHA-512 checksum as well as the ASC key for PGP encrypted signature. Signature of this distribution file must be verified and also should be checked against the checksums uh, to ensure the file integrity. When it comes to building the Tomcat from source, and build tool is used for building the Tomcat binaries. The Tomcat source package will already have the build XML for building all Tomcat components. By default, uh, the build XML will have targets or basically tasks with relevant dependencies for building all components. This might be including, you know, the sample applications, documentations, embed Tomcat jars, and so on, all of which may not be really required in a typical enterprise level or a production level deployment. So you need to modify the build XML to use custom targets um, to build the Tomcat binaries lean and free from you know, such documentations, uh, sample applications, etc. Even if you are using the binary dis distribution package that is downloaded from the Tomcat ASF downloads page, it is in not intended for uh, directly install or production usage. Default sample applications and documentations uh, must be removed. Default configurations do not ensure the secure do not ensure secure configurations. For example, by default, connectors are not enabled with the HTTPS. Shutdown ports are not disabled. No restrictions on Catalina policy. Cat, uh, client facing stack traces are enabled, etc. Are some of them. So for these reasons, ensure that a Tomcat with a default configurations must never be deployed in production without ensuring that such vulnerable configurations are eliminated or secured. Tomcat also comes with the manager applications for instance administrations. The manager application and the host manager application must be deployed only after changing the default 
uh, username, passwords, and roles. One recommendation is that access to the manager web uh, manager web application can be restricted by the remote IP address or host by adding a remote address valve or a remote host valve. Implementing proper file or directory ownership is another important area. Principle of uh, least privilege must be followed while setting up access privileges and the accounts with which Tomcat JVM runs. Separating the Catalina home and Catalina base is another good practice. Catalina home represents the root of your Tomcat installation and Catalina base is the root of uh, runtime configuration of a specific Tomcat instance. It is always advised to restrict access to these directories with only the required permissions. The UNF directory uh, where the configuration files are placed must be restricted and the files must be given only with the least permissions. It is also recommended to keep the web apps area where you deploy the application war artifact in another location outside the Catalina base. It is also uh, advised to keep the logs in a separate location, preferably in another file system that has uh, sufficient storage space located. <coughs> on server level, depends on the criticality of application, you can further let the Tomcat to be configured and run from a SLNX enabled host. As mentioned earlier, default usernames, passwords, and roles must be removed or modified. Storing the sensitive password or data is, uh, is also an important item in the configuration file. By default, uh, Tomcat do not offer any mechanism to encrypt or decrypt the sensitive passwords. But you can make use of the utilities such as Picket Vault or a custom developed encryption decryption utility by extending the Tomcat Digester class. Transport layer security uh, is a critical component of the web application security. And securing Tomcat with the TLS is essential for the uh, essential to protect the data integrity and confidentiality. We must pay focus on areas like uh, securing connectors, implementing proper certificate configurations, and enabling two-way TLS for API endpoints. Unused connectors can, uh, you know, inadvertently expose the server to potential threats. It is essential to review the server's configuration and disable any connectors that are not necessary for the application's operation. Similarly, organizations should use valid TLS certificates from trusted certificate authorities and configure them Directly within Tomcat. This includes configuring the key store and trust store, setting the certificate chain, and enabling uh, certificate revocation checks for the added security. It is imperative to disable outdated and uh, vulnerable TLS protocol versions and enforce the use of TLS 1.2 or 1.3. This reduces the risk of exploitation due to non vulnerabilities in the older protocols and cipher suits. Weak cipher suits are again susceptible to attacks. So Tomcat connectors should be configured to use modern and robust cipher suits that provide a balance between the security and performance. Implementing perfect forward secrecy ciphers such as ECDHC cipher suits ensures that even if the server's private key is compromised, previously recorded TLS sessions remain secure. Securing the JMX or any exposed endpoints is equally important like securing the connectors. Such endpoints should have proper access controls and with TLS enabled with the secure cipher suits. Enabling two-way TLS and MTLS uh, with a client certificate authentication ensures that both the client and the server authenticate each other using the TLS certificates. This added level of authentication mitigates the risk of unauthorized access and protects the sensitive API endpoints from malicious users. 
Authentication and authorization are uh, critical components of web application security, ensuring that only the authorized uh, users have access to specific resources and functionalities. Tomcat provides various authentication mechanisms to en enhance the security and to protect the sensitive data. One of the primary security considerations is to avoid using default credentials provided with host manager in the Tomcat package and use the strong unique passwords. Compared to basic authentication that sends user name and the password in clear text encoded with a base64, it is always advised to use the digest authentication that sent hashed credential. It is encouraged to use a form-based authentication which can be further extended with multi-factor authentication. Similarly, a single sign-on enhances usability and convenience for users while uh, centralizing the authentication and authorization management and uh, reducing the risk of password fatigue and potential vulnerabilities associated with multiple login attempts. Tomcat can use realms to handle authentication and authorization with the external access control sources. This centralizes user management and allows the organizations to apply existing security policies across uh, various applications, uh, enhancing consistency and ease of administration. Custom valves can be built for mutual TLS authentication or certificate pinning. Such, a, such a custom valves allow organizations to implement security uh, specific security requirements tailored for their environment. Tomcat offers valves and filters as powerful uh, mechanism to intercept and process HTTP requests and responses. And it helps to implement various security measures and enhance the overall security of web applications. The coarse filter uh, allows or denies uh, cross-origin requests based on configured policies preventing unauthorized access and potential security vulnerabilities resulting from cross-origin requests. The CSRF prevention filter protects against cross-site request forgery attacks by adding the anti-CSRF tokens to web forms, which ensures that only the legitimate requests originating from the application can be processed. The HTTP header security filter allows the administrators to control and enforce security related http headers such as um, x, con x content type options x frame options and uh, content security policy uh, in the responses and helps in preventing click jacking and mime type sniffing remote address filter remote cider filter remote host filter and remote uh, IP filters. These restrict incoming uh, requests based on the respective type. This is very useful when enabling manager applications that comes with the Tomcat, for example. The error report valve is used to customize the error messages to avoid, you know, the error stack traces and uh, and the disclosure of sensitive information to the potential attackers. I have mentioned the MTLS valve in the previous slide, so I am skipping that uh, for the interest of time. Rate limiter valves can be implemented to control the rate of incoming requests from clients and avoid possibilities of any DOS attacks. Session management involves handling user sessions to maintain state and user data between the requests. Secure session management ensures that sessions are protected from unauthorized access and session data is handled safely and sessions are invalidated appropriately. Configuring session cookies as HTTP only ensures that they are not accessible through client-side scripts. Setting session cookies as secure ensures that they are only sent over secure HTTPS connections. Configuring an appropriate session timeout is essential for security so that attackers cannot hijack the ideal sessions. Implementing uh, custom session listeners helps to monitor session-related events 
and can be used to enforce uh, security policies. Ensuring proper um, session invalidation is vital to uh, you know, terminate the sessions when they are no longer needed. Sessions should be invalidated explicitly when a user logs out or when a session timeout occurs. Enabling uh, session monitoring and auditing provides visibility into session activities and helps detect potential security threats. Logging session related events such as session creations, modifications, and invalidations aids in uh, identifying suspicious activities and supporting incident response efforts. Secure logging and uh, auditing in Tomcat is important for a robust security posture and ensuring the compliance with the regulatory requirements. A balanced logging means uh, finding the right balance between logging enough information for effective monitoring and troubleshooting. Excessive uh, logging uh, may lead to performance issues and providing sensitive data to uh, you know data exposure risks. Log and archived locations uh, should be restricted to authorized personnel with the proper file permissions and access controls. Implementing a uh, log rotation prevents the log files uh, from being too large and improves uh, log readability. Sensitive information such as passwords or personal data PII uh, should be masked or redacted in log files to prevent unauthorized access to you know, sensitive information. Custom log valves can be implemented to direct the log data to stream processing systems such as Kafka or Flink or Elasticsearch to allow real-time analysis and monitoring of log events and thus enabling a quicker response to security incidents. Ensuring log integrity is uh, critical to detect any unauthorized modifications or tampering attempts on uh, log files. Implementing digital signature or checksums on log enables uh, to uh, or helps to uh, detect the tampering and maintain the log integrity. Integrating Tomcat logs with the SIEM solutions like uh, Splunk enables uh, uh, centralized log management, which helps in correlation of events for a comprehensive security monitoring. Vulnerability management. Uh, is a critical aspect of maintaining secure Tomcat environment. It involves a systematic approach to identifying, uh, assessing, prioritizing, and mitigating the vulnerabilities in Tomcat and its applications and the underlying infrastructure. Staying current with the Tomcat release is essential to take advantage of security enhancements and the bug fixes. Upgrading to new versions ensures that the application benefits from the latest features and the security fixes. Conducting uh, regular security scans on the web applications uh, hosted on Tomcat helps to identify vulnerabilities at the application uh, level. Dynamic and static application security testing uh, scans can reveal common application security flaws. Performing vulnerability scans on the entire Tomcat environment, including the operating system and other components, uh, helps to identify the potential weaknesses. Additionally, conducting SCA analysis on dependencies used in the web applications uh, flags vulnerabilities in the third-party libraries and the frameworks. Proper configuration management of Tomcat ensures that Security settings are appropriately managed with a version control and are securely stored. When it comes to uh, Tomcat uh, configurations uh, best practices, CS benchmarking for Tomcat is always a good reference. One common challenge with a large amount of configuration uh, is that how do you track it for hundreds or even thousands of Tomcat instances? Uh, that are normally deployed in large enterprises. So MBN attributes is there to aid you or to help you for that. 
Tomcat provides uh, monitoring and management capabilities through the use of mBeans or managed beans. mBeans expose uh, various attributes that can be queried uh, and to get the effective configurations that Tomcat uses at runtime. So what you can do with that? You can write custom utilities or even a Tomcat listener to dump the effective MPN attributes, uh, which can be scanned or monitored to find out uh, deviations from the recommended uh, configurations. A sample of how to query the MPN server for the components under the Catalina is shown here as an example. So with that, I'm concluding my session. Um, security is a vast area and uh, defense in depth is the key to ensure a proper security posture. With limitations in time, I couldn't cover all areas, but I believe I touched some of the very important security considerations for Tomcat web application ecosystem. Hope you enjoyed the session and keep in touch. Thank you.